you here already? <laughs> oh my god. What's up, MTV? Um, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Welcome to uh, my life. What's going on, guys? How's it going MTV? So we're out here. I uh, try to come out here every morning when I can. Uh, this is the beautiful city of Virginia Beach. This is where I grew up. Uh, I'm actually down the street a little bit a ways, uh, but I try to come out here as much as I can. So it's 2019, it's 20 degrees out here. But we're gonna do a little morning run and uh, try to get it in, start a day off right. What's up guys? Um, so right now we're gonna go head to brunch. Uh, this place is called Bay Local, new spot opened up down by the ocean front. Uh, all the locals go there, so I heard it's pretty good. So we're gonna go check it out. So, this is my girlfriend, Brianna. Um, we've been together like a month now, so fairly new. Yay! <laughs> uh, she's doing all right so far. So. <laughs> I'm all right? Yeah. He's a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, how, how so? <laughs> no, he's lovely. Uh, no, go ahead. <laughs> Please. You're wonderful in person, but when you go out, you're just wild. I'm wild? You're so wild. Oh, great. <laughs> can't tame you, just have to accept it the way it is. Um, why don't you tell them about how we met? Um, we met doing a music video. Yep. You asked me if I wanted to do it. Right, so uh, we have a mutual friend, Kobe, um, and he was putting together a music video. He's a rap artist, and he asked if I wanted to star in the video, and we needed a couple pretty girls for some different scenes. And so uh, I hopped on Facebook and found her and asked her if she wanted to be in it. She said sure. That was it. And then it was like, it was like, hey, you want to be in this video? And I was like, yeah, sure. And it's like, by the way, <laughs> we have to kiss. I hope you're a good kisser. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, she was. So. And so then we couldn't stop kissing. <laughs> it's true. I uh, kept making them do the take like eight times. It was, it was pretty good. <laughs> It was fun. It was a fun video. What you, all right, I gotta call my dad real quick. We'll see if we can meet. Uh, meet me at the gym. Meet me at the gym. You guys are gonna go to the gym together. That'd be dope. So hopefully I get to see my dad soon. Uh, I've been back in town in Virginia now from New York for the last. I guess it's been about six, seven weeks now. It's been a That's while. Fun. Um, and I haven't had the chance to see my father yet. So okay. hopefully. Um, be able to meet up, go to the gym, and, you know, whatever. <laughs> Get to meet my family. Banging. Hello. I love that you have that and I have this. <laughs> a meal fit for a king. Dear God, thank you for this meal that you provided for us. Please bless us to our bodies in every way. Uh, look out for us today and uh, let everything go the way it should go. It's meant to be. Amen. Very cool. And then, uh, Vermont, you read romance novels? <laughs> kind of. I'm on the cover of the lot of them. You are? Yeah. I can't wait to see this. I'm not going to put that on there. <laughs> 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 Gotta have a well balanced breakfast. 
<laughs> Most important meal of the you day. You got your carbs, and more carbs, and some sugars. You know, keep those muscles looking good. And then your protein, and some more carbs and carbs. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> tastes good. So when I first met him, I didn't expect to date him because I thought he was a fuckboy. <laughs> and he is when he's single. He's a good boyfriend, he doesn't do it with me. But when I first met him, the first night we went out together, our first date, like two or three separate girls came up to me and got mad at me and I was like, I don't even know this guy. I think I ditched you actually for a second. I was like, you got this. You ran inside for one <laughs> I was like, you got this. I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with this. Well, it was the last one. I'm trying to go home and some girl comes up to me. Hey. <laughs> I was trying what to. What the fuck is this? And I'm so like, okay, was, you got it. Bye. We went into the bar, and then I don't know. I was, I was talking to this one girl for a little bit, and she happened to like be working there that night. So then that was a big fiasco. And then we go to leave, and uh, I went and ordered an Uber ride, but I forgot it was it was Under linked this to car. this other girl's account because she was, you know, hooking me up with Uber rides when I needed them. And so then I ordered one, and the Uber didn't arrive, but she, she did. did. <laughs> yeah, and then I, I hear my name, and I turn around, and she's like, Josh! And I turn around, and it's her and like her whole little posse there. A bunch of girls like staring at me angrily. And I was like, oh, shit. And I was like, you got this. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, oh, God, that was something. But he's good to me. It wasn't good to them, though. <laughs> Taking the mug home with me. It's cold as fuck. Why is it so cold, man? Was it like winter? Yeah. It's been winter. I'm trying to quit, kind of, but my mom always told me nobody likes a quitter, so here I am. When did you start smoking? I started smoking when I was 15. I think there's people over there looking at us. Of course. <laughs> you got the camera. You want an autograph? Nah, yeah, so I started smoking when I was 15, and now I'm 31 years old, and yeah, I don't know. You guys want to be on the shot? No. And be on TV? <laughs> Don't drink and drive. <laughs> Here, I don't know. Maybe I want to just keep it brief. How's it going, guys? My name is Joshua Tibbetts. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my world. So, I'm 31 years old. I was born and raised in Chesapeake, Virginia. Uh, I went to a small little town high school called Great Bridge. Uh, that's where my family and my friends live, where I'm from. Fuck, hey. What's up, Dad? You just waking up? So I grew up with my mother. Uh, she was a single parent, and then she had my sister when I was seven years old. Um, and then it, after that, shortly after, it was just us three. I uh, pretty much raised her uh, while my mom worked two jobs. Um, good home life for what it was. Uh, never went hungry, so that was nice. Um, let's see, what else? Um, and so then from there, when I got older, I moved out to the beach, uh, surfed a lot, bartended down there, made a lot of friends, uh, camaraderies, uh, got in a little bit of trouble, uh, you know, just enjoyed my youth. Um, and from there, I, um, I worked a lot of jobs, construction during the day, uh, had my own business at one point, 
and then bartending at night. But uh, I started to get kind of complacent. I wanted to do something else with my life. Uh, Virginia is a great place to raise a family and for military and stuff like that, but nothing really um, for kids growing up and trying to find themselves. So I always wanted to move out to a bigger place. Um, I have a pretty big personality um, and I live a fast paced life, so I needed something that could keep up with me. Um, so then one day I got picked up uh, and asked to be a model down here in Virginia. So I gave it a whirl. Um, it ended up going really well, really quickly. Did a whole bunch of runway shows, uh, got in some print, published magazines, and within two months, uh, New York City heard about me. And they asked me if I wanted to come up there and try out in front of all the major modeling agencies. So I did that. I went up there um, for about three days and one of the agencies I met with, uh, MSA, uh, they wanted to have me right away. And so I ended up signing a contract with them and I moved from Virginia to New York within a week. So that was a huge transition. Didn't know anybody up there, no friends, no family. I had $1,100 in my pocket. I moved into this small space in Spanish Harlem uh, for $800. So that left me with 300 bucks and I lived off of that for about two months. Um, I walked everywhere I went. I uh, just went to the gym every day and hitting the streets looking for uh, a side job while I was waiting for the big modeling gigs to come through. I <clears throat> ate peanut butter sandwiches and oatmeal, basically breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day um, until I finally was starting to make some income. I landed a bartending job and then my first modeling gig I did uh, at Macy's with Heidi Klum and uh, finally landed some money and got on my feet. And I've been there ever since, and that was about three years ago. Um, from there, I did a bunch more modeling stuff, and then I transitioned into the movie industry. Now, I've been in the movie world for about 11 years now. Um, I started off back in Virginia, of course, as just uh, an extra um, for little small movies and TV shows like that. And then I transitioned into being a grip. Um, I was watching the crews one day and, uh, you know, was really interested in what they were doing behind the scenes. I asked to help out um, and eventually they gave me a shot. Um, I guess, you know, I put in good work ethic and then later on, a couple years later, they voted me into the union. So <clears throat> I had that background as well. So come back full circle in New York, modeling, then back to the movie business. I was looking for another bartending job and I was walking down the street in Midtown and I saw a movie set going on. I walked on set, asked to talk to the producers, introduced myself and they gave me a job the next day. I've uh, been doing that for the last two years up there uh, for Local 52. Um, really great union, they've taken care of me uh, twice over and then now I've been back in Virginia for the past six weeks. I uh, took a little bit of break from the movie industry. It can be grueling at times, lots of work, little sleep. And so now I'm back visiting family and friends for the holidays. And uh, But since I have been back, I have also been working full time. I posted a selfie picture online and this um, pretty big time photographer in the book cover world picked it up posted it on her page and it went viral in like an hour um, next thing I know that that night I had about 22 different romance novel authors all contacting me and her um, and asking if I could be on the cover of their books so that was pretty exciting uh, I thought it was a little cheesy at first but then I started uh, meeting the people and getting introduced into that kind of world and it's uh, it's been nothing but blessings so far. Um, so doing that right now and just trying to figure out what the next chapter of my life is going to be. We're blessing. There you go, Bob. God bless you, man. So this is my boy Chris. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we actually met each other doing a uh, modeling runway show. Like three years ago? Yeah, somewhere around there, about four yeah. or five. So, let's 
go get something to eat. Yeah, we're gonna go. Um, well, I got a bunch of people meeting us down at the town center. So, cool at like 4 30, 5 o'clock. We're gonna go there? Yeah, I'm down. All right, cool. All right, yeah. we'll see you there. I think it's right up his alley. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. All right. I'm in. All right. So. Uh, Emergency contact. Okay. Sure. You want to put you in there? Sure. <laughs> you know how to spell you my come name? Save me. It won't be the first time. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. How are you going down? So what's up guys? We do a quick workout. This is uh, my pop, Russell. How you doing? Good. What do you want to do first? Uh, I love it. Four four and two. Four. Completely out of breath. I got to quit smoking. I didn't do n nearly as much as you, but uh, I've been a little slack here this winter, but I'll get myself back yeah. together for an old man. I'm not feeling okay. Doing good. Big guy. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy Josh is here and wish I could see him more often, like every week or all the time, but uh, we don't get to see each other. I'm happy he's uh, falling into my footsteps. He's in the film industry gripping and doing some modeling and stuff and make the best of it, have a great life. I'm sure he will, he is already, so. <laughs> what do you Hopefully. think about this real world endeavor? Oh, I think it's great. If they need an old man to sneak around once in a while, they can call me up, I'll come and visit them. <laughs> yeah, I think it's there excellent, I mean, you know. Beautiful night, beautiful future, beautiful friend. Let's throw it. In, in his true At element, the bar. The shot is mine. I don't know. I hope it's good. Salud. 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 Banging. Just like you. Just like me and you. <laughs> you taking a poop? A little poop. A little poop. Do you wash your hands? <laughs> don't lie. I always ask him that if he washes his hands when he's at my house. Do you know what I told him? Like, he's like, Seriously? He's dirty. I'm not scared to touch my own dick. Your fucking hands are fucking dirtier than that. Your arm, you know. Yeah, nobody else wants to shake your hand and touch your dick. You know what? But you, you gotta know. tell him. You know what I think you should do, guys? You, you people serious? should you wash, your hands wash their hands this? before they take what? on this. Like, so, so you don't get the germs on your dick. I'm right. Like, my cousin told me that like a year ago. I was like, don't touch her. Get picked up. We're right there. That's off. Shit. Did you fart again? You no, sneaky fuck? No, I fucking fart again. Dude, that was, <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> oh. He's got the energy of a six-year-old. So, this is my sister, Kaylin. Hey, world. <laughs> yes. This is totally real right now. <laughs> I remember you were doing... You remember you were doing magic? And you... No, I don't ever remember doing magic. Always <laughs> did doing magic. <laughs> okay. I remember when you balled out that piece of paper and you put it in your hand uh -huh. and then you went... When you were like three? And you went like this. And it was then a it great was all magic trick for a three-year-old. Three yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was not when I was three. How old were you? I was ten. I was not... 17 years old doing <laughs> magic. <true. laughs> so Didn't I, happen. I heard, I heard Josh. So my Josh? mom, yeah. my sister, we all grew up together in the same house. Yes. Uh, our whole lives. 
So we're the love two most love. important the people in three my life. Musketeers. And uh, <laughs> yeah, this is our house. Yeah, so we're let best me show friends. you around. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. So uh, yeah, this is the foyer. Check out the uh, the nice crystal. Over here we got the living room. Uh, wasn't really allowed in this room growing up. Uh, this is my boy Chris. Say what's up to MV MTV. What up MTV? What up Chris? What's up man? Ceiling fan. Fine china. Dining room table. No light. <laughs> <laughs> I think I sat at this twice in my life, but it's nice. Out here we got the the back porch. Better wear your jacket. It's cold out here. So uh, I'm gonna take you into the kitchen. Uh, where all the chef work gets done. This is the uh, other part of the kitchen. We got our fruits, our veggies, you know, keeping it right. And this is the den, uh, the lion's den, also known as the man cave. That's where I spent a lot of my time growing up. Oh, yeah. All right, MTV, I got stuff to do. You gotta get out of here. That's a wrap.